veganism? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Veganism, you say between two to 400 animals' lives per year. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be like this. Yeah. Hi there. This street interview took place in this weekend's um, Cube of Truth outreach event in Brighton. It was our third one and went really well. We had 100 positive responses of people who seriously considered veganism. If you're curious why I asked the questions that I did, make sure to keep an eye out for the captions below. I hope you enjoy. The whole thing is that the people staying in the cube represent any member of society. They're anonymous yeah. for the voiceless, the animals you see on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of anonymous before. Yeah, yeah. That's the, there, there's a lot of thought, I think, that uh, went into the organization. Mm. But, so what does um, footage yeah. like this make you think? Um, that's all for the Well, I mean, it's, it's not... It's not new to me. It's something that I'm in denial of. Yeah. Uh, I am a meat eater. Uh-huh. Um, I blame my mum for that because she can, <laughs> she cooks very well. Uh-huh. But um, but uh, my partner is uh, is vegetarian, and that, that's made me think of, of of it in a whole different way past the past couple of years, really. And to be honest with you, you know, personally, it's a it, it's, you know, it's a personal struggle to get away from what I've what I'm uh, grown accustomed to. Um, so I mean, but, uh, having said that. Yeah, for the past couple of years, I've um, you know, I've started to eat vegetarian meals and not and not um, not feel like I'm missing anything. So yeah. it's a, it's a start. I feel like I feel like I'm getting there. <laughs> I, I agree. That's a great start. Yeah. So what's the, what's the motive? What's the motivation behind uh, eating vegetarian? Would you um, like to step up and watch the footage a bit? Yeah, yeah may as well. So the screen here, this represents the uh, the dairy industry. Yeah. So you can see this is all relevant. Um, Somerset footage in Finland in 2017. Yeah. Have you given much thought about the dairy industry? Um, not particularly the, the dairy industry. Um, what really shocked me was um, how they treat chickens, for example, um, and how they um, how the male ones are, cr- are crushed because they obviously don't have no good to them, and yeah. um, just you know obviously the battery farming and stuff and it's just you know it's um it's a really it's a sobering thing it's easier just to put it out of your mind <laughs> you know but, yeah. but when i come to when i come to buy it, it you know it, it, cross, it, it crosses my mind fleetingly but you know it's just it's habit it's getting out it's getting out of the getting out of the habit really yeah i, I can tell you're on to it yeah, um, yeah are you aware of what happens to the male offspring in the uh, dairy industry no no i can see some of it though yeah so I mean, the sad thing when you look at this footage is uh, that, that really gets me is, you know. Yeah. It, 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 there, there, there's broken animals. Yeah. That's yeah. That, you know, you can just see, see it in their eyes. Yeah. It's, and, uh, yeah, even before anything, think, yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can, ask, you can see their, their expression, really. You don't think that animals can have expression, but you can definitely see it. You can see it in their eyes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. It reminds me of, um, I had a dog years ago, and I think once you, once you have a connection with an animal, at one Particular animal, you see, you see all animals yeah. in that, and um, I, she's died now, a long time ago. But um, but that's what it reminds me of. And obviously, when you have when you have a dog or have, you have a pet, you um, you know you, you care for it, and you know to think of being treated like that is yeah, exactly. Disgusting. If you take the cow out of that situation and you replace it with the dog, yeah, that's you then know, you yeah exactly kind of you really feel, feel you really feel for them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I mean, the, what I was going to say about the dairy industry is because the male offspring are of no use. Yeah. Um, they're oftentimes killed in their first day of life. Are they? Right. And yeah. the females are rotated back into the same system. Mm. And because they produce for five to six years until they can basically barely walk, and then they wind up here. That's the no. Okay. I, I can tell you got a good yeah. heart. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, you're, yeah. you're in free company. The, the emotions you're feeling, mm. they're very raw. I've been there myself. Yeah. The good thing is we can do something about this. We can choose to stop supporting this. Yeah. Veganism, you say between two to 400 animals lives per year. Mm. It doesn't have to be like this. That's yeah. why we're here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, sometimes you know, when you're on your own, from an individual's point of view, you kind of think there's not much you can do what, by yourself. Everyone has to change at the same time. That's how you, that's how you feel, but obviously yeah. that's never, that's never going to happen. Uh, well, I think all you can do is, like, I mean, it's a certain amount of guilt attached to that now, for, you know, through that as well. I just never, I, at least for myself, I don't want to feel that I've taken part in that. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. Would you like to sign up to a three-week vegan challenge? A vegan challenge? Yeah. <laughs> 
leave it with you if you'd like. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Yeah. Give, give it a go. Awesome. Why not? Why not? Why not? So if you go to your web browser. Yeah. yeah. And type in challenge twenty two. And then the number twenty two. And just hit go. Vegan. Oh, well, it should be the first hit. Yep. So that's the one. So you're against dairy as well, so or you're, you're, you're trying to encourage the people. I'm against dairy is is um, because of the way the offspring are treated. Mm. So um, I mean, if you look at the, the chicks here, these yeah. are the ones. That's that's why I don't choose to support eggs mm. specifically. Why well, I see. Um, and as far as dairy, I guess when the, the offspring are um, uh, uh, what happens to the male offspring, that's what yeah. really got me. That one really gets, that one really gets to me. Yeah, so, so I can sign up on that. So what, what does this do then? What, what this, once I've uh, signed up, what does it do? So, so it, it's literally just three lines. So what, what happens, it's a really cool program. So you get emails with all the help and support that you need. I think there's even a Facebook group you can join where people are going through similar things. You know what it is? And you're assigned a mentor. The big, right, okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Because, yeah, because the, like, the biggest obstacle for me anyway is just what to eat then. Yeah, what, what, yeah. To, what to actually That's where this. Yeah. That's where this program is really useful because it just makes it all oh, super, super easy. So, okay. Is that something you're interested in signing up? Yeah, yeah I'm going to do it. Awesome, mate. And then yeah, after that 22 yeah, days, you can reassess. Huh? You can... I, after that 22 days, you can reassess. All right, okay. So you might need to tick the I confirm. And I am not a robot. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, what's that? Oh, Maybe all. Uh, storefront. That's storefront. That's storefront. That's storefront. That's storefront. <laughs> Maybe like. Yeah, that's good. Average count in the Okay, I'll give That's it a read. awesome, Ray. I'll give it a read. That's awesome. You're, I can tell you're a strong individual. You can absolutely do this. <laughs> I hope so. It's just a bit, a, bit of dis, a bit of discipline and getting, yeah. out of, uh, getting out of bad habits. But you know what? Emotionally, I'm like 99% there, really, yeah. to, be, to be honest. My, my partner would love that as well. <laughs> and <laughs> give it a go. as of giving that a go, you, you, you can uh, take that home and you can sign up with you and you can do it together. Yeah. So that's yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as of this morning, moment, you're looking forward. You're not looking to support in that. You're looking to... To to something that, different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, give me a go. Alright. That feels good. That feels good. Yeah. All right. let, me, let me give you a card here, mate. I'm, I like what you guys are doing. Well done. So, this is the, the group this is a part of. Yeah. And then this is um, this is my personal group that my wife and I started. If you have any questions, if you go to this website and email it, and it goes to me. Okay. So, I'd really, be, I'd really be happy to answer any questions you have about what to eat or any of those things. Right. It's a, it's a fun journey. For me, I know it completely opened up the world of food. Yeah. So, I can close different yeah. things. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely look into it. Cheers, Ray. All right. I'll see you around. Okay. Take care. Bye. Yeah, so that was the interview. Now this chat was one of my favorites I've had yet, um, and I've had a lot. This was our first day using background music uh, along with the cube. Um, these are carefully selected songs um, that have lyrics relevant to the footage we're showing, and I think really helped to create an, an emotional experience. And now he approached as an omnivore. And I think when he walked up to the cube of truth, he was in the preparation stage, meaning he'd both acknowledged some of the issues with uh, the animals that are raised to be eaten, and also was starting to do something about it, but wasn't quite there. By signing up to Challenge 22, he showed he was willing to move into that action stage and give veganism a real shot. What I think made this chat particularly effective is I let him watch the footage and judge for himself and only chimed in where I thought it could add to the conversation. As we were getting more into it, I could see um, his eyes watering up underneath the sunglasses and I felt quite moved myself and I just tried to delicately lead him down the, the path that we were traveling, um, but not too abruptly, and lead him to the, the, the conclusion that you saw that we reached in the end. As you could probably tell from the interview, he was very moved, um, and at the end I suggested that his partner, who's vegetarian, take the challenge with him. So, what do you think? You think his partner will take the challenge? Let me know in the comments. This was also my first chat 
where I closed with a hug. And I think I'm gonna start doing more of this because when you have a raw emotional experience such as this, I think it's quite nice to um, have that hug as a cathartic closure to it. As we hugged, I said softly to him, you're doing a good thing. I also gave him my personal contact details. In the event that he does have any questions, he has someone he knows that he can reach out to. I also want to thank the incredible team of activists that came out on that day, um, both on outreach but especially in the Cube. This chat would not have happened without you, so thank you for coming out in the cold and inspiring change. Do you want to miss out on more people going vegan on the spot? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.